Hey guys, how you doing? Sports Nomad here. Welcome back to the channel. We are back, you guys already know, in Greater Los Angeles at Whittier Narrows here in Rosemead. So there's the scorecard you guys to see. There's the course map. Today we are going to be on the mountain course, so you guys can see it right there on the right. That's the nine we're going to be playing today. Should be fun. And there's a bigger map of Los Angeles. This should show you where the course is at in reference to the city. Probably 20 miles east of downtown Los Angeles. So just going to give you guys some more walkthroughs, you know, what we usually do. Um, on that note, or actually on a sports note, um, Kyrie Irving is now on the Mavs. What do you guys think? Is that going to put Dallas over the hump? Uh, personally, I don't think so. Maybe the Western Conference Finals, but uh, that's the most I could see him getting. You know, if I don't, you know, I think they need some bigger pieces other than two guards. But you know, best of luck for our Lakers and Clippers guys. You know, after this trade deadline, what do you guys think? Um, Lakers got rid of Russ. They brought in some pieces they felt can help complete the puzzle. I don't think it's gonna work still, but we'll see. You know, hopefully. You got two Hall of Famers, Braun and AD, and you would think they can at least make the top eight. So we'll see. And for the Clippers, getting rid of Reggie Jackson, Luke Kennard, uh, bringing in Bones Highland, Mason Plumley. You know they've always been around that four and five seed, man. They never take it. They never take the season serious. So you know we'll see what these additions do. They should put them in a better position. But you know the Clippers are always fooling around with. Um, injury management and whatnot so we'll see how they do all right guys first hole 447 par 5 let's see what we can do stinger stinger low low and slow not that slow but let's see how it where it lands not that far so views of the fairway beautiful day all right, guys, so it didn't go very far. We got 207 to the pin. You see it way out there towards that taller pine tree. Just keep it straight. Got the three wood. Trying to hone in. Don't be tense. And topped it. You know, I don't know if my swing's too big, but, you know, you swing so hard and you really contact the ball, you know, you're doing something too big. You're going to focus. So our third shot, I do the same thing, guys. I got the three wood. I just want to, you know, get it close to the pin, but we're topping it. So right now we're kind of melting on our first hole here. We're just looking for good contact now. So already on our fourth, birdie. Not even on the green. And same thing, it's another top. I remember being better contact, but, you know, we're looking for better stuff here, guys. Not a good start. Not the start we're looking for. So now we're at our par shot. We're not even on the fairway. We just need to get it close, guys. Let's focus. We need to focus here. And now we're doing a little better. A little better. We got some loft on the ball. Went towards the pin. But not as close as we like it to be. Really need to probably calm the nerves a little bit. It is actually the first full-size course on the channel. Maybe that has to do with it. So I got my pitch wedge, guys. And I get loft. It's not a bad shot. But not close enough to the green. So now we are on our bogey, I believe. Excuse me, double bogey, guys. And we're chipping on. So now we're just trying to um, keep more water from getting in. Let's just get it close or get it in one or the other. And it lands next to the pin and keeps rolling. You know, if I'm not going to put underspin, then I should stop trying and just hit it softer. Got a nine footer. Decent line. Not enough space. All right, guys, so we're four over on the second hole. Now we get a par three. Let's see if we can collect ourselves a little bit here. Got the nine iron. Just trying to stay loose. Take some warm up swings, keep it loose. And we're doing better. Got the ball rolling now a little bit. Good golf shot. So my, 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 excuse me, admiring these clear skies. 
a lovely day here in Los Angeles, in greater Los Angeles. So we try to chip it on, guys, and we don't get underspin, so thumbs down. Par shot, we got the sand wedge again, guys. Well, low and slow is what we need, we're not that far. So let's try to give it underspin, or let's make sure it doesn't go on the freeway past the pin. And other than the ball rolling and rolling and rolling, I like the the, um, the chip, but you know, if I don't get my underspin down, guys, then I don't know if I should be bothering right now. And there's our bogey, bogey putt. Not enough pace, not a good putt at all. So let's just put it away now. <coughs> My time. Don't want to want to botch it. Really taking my time here. Really want to put this one in. And we do, guys. Double bogue. Could have been worse. Could have been a lot better. Hole three, guys. 356. We're six over. We've got a slight dog leg right. So let's just keep it straight here. Um, we're heading right, dead center towards that smaller tree. Hi. And we pull it slightly, but we're not going to complain. Oh, you know, it didn't boomerang left or right. We're going to take it. So here's the fairway. Just giving you guys more views of a Whittier Narrows. Trying to find our ball. I know it went towards the bunker. And it did. So luckily we didn't land in the beach, guys. Got the three wood again. You know, now that I think about it, I don't know why I didn't go five iron. But we do punch it out. I like my five for other, most of the stuff like that, but um, I don't know why I didn't go five there. Should have went five, but it went straight. So let's keep it going, baby. We've got our birdie shot. We got the pitching wedge for an approach. Let's see how we do. We get it up, give it good speed, but we just missed the green on the fringe. Not too bad of a shot. All right, guys, so we got a par for 12-footer. Uh, let's just keep it close. It's a good distance. Let's really try to hone in. Good pace, just leaked out right. We need a better line. We got to be better than that. Put it away. Out of boy. Still searching for our first par, but after the first hole, we'll be fine with the bogey. All right, guys, hole four, seven over, 288, slight dog leg right. Let's keep it straight. Ah! Mm -mm -mm. And we pull it left. Luckily, it doesn't go way off. We're just going to be in the brush. We should be there. I don't know why I call it brush. You know, brush is like a big, giant bush of twigs and stuff but anytime we're in the trees I just call it brush so we got a five iron punching it out and I open the stupid face up so now I just gotta take a 20 yard walk to get my ball and we're gonna try it again who's stupid the face or the golfer so now we do what we're trying to do Punch it out. Keep it on the fairway. We're not playing hero golf. We've been playing for a year. We need good course management. We need smart shots. As long as they're centered, it's a good start. All right, guys. So we got our par shot for an approach. Let's see what we can do. And I pulled it. Might be tense, not might not be taking our time, but we need a we need to get rid of these um these pulls. All right, guys. So now we got a bogue chips, a greenside chip for a bogue. Duffed it, but you know that's why we're showing the videos, guys. So we learn from this. So let's take another whack at it. We do not want the ball on the diamond lane. We need it. To just trickle up there. 
and that's probably the best shot of the round so far I don't know where that's been all day but it doesn't usually happen so you know unless I get it down I'm probably gonna not be looking for the underspin as much so now we just gotta put it away and we do and we take a disappointing triple bogue all right guys hole five ten over we got a part three though so maybe we can get something going here uh, better than most of our other shots but we're probably looking for more loft and we missed the green I believe we're in the beach and we are in the beach guys so let's see if we can get out big swing big miss so let's try another one. Now this is our par shot. There you and we get it out. I think it was that beautiful view right behind us that got us out of there. All right, guys. So now we got a bogey for about uh, six feet, six, seven feet. Let's see what we can do. Just keep going. Good putt. We'll take it. As long as we don't burn it. Guys, hole six. So we're 13 over, guys. Now we're just trying to have fun and play some solid holes. No more trying to revive the scorecard here. And there we go. We start hitting good. Good drive. So second shot, we're going to take the nine iron, guys. We're going to try to get up and down. I think these views are helping me keep the ball centered because it's a beautiful day and I'm glad I was able to hit a good shot there all right guys so not as good as we thought now we got a green side chip but over a bunker pretty intimidating so let's st stay let's stay loose here stay loose and uh, just give it a little loft we plop it over uh, it just goes right but we didn't duff it we're not in the bunker so we'll take it. So we got a good distance putt here. Let's see how close we can get. Lining it up. Uh, not enough speed, not a good line, not a good putt, guys. So now we just need to put it away. Well, we want to forget about that one. We don't want any more mistakes, so let's reevaluate the lie. We'll see what we do. There we go. Uh, took the time to read it, and we get rewarded. Put the putt in. All right, guys, so here is uh, eighth, I believe. And we keep it straight. I believe it's a slight dog leg to the right too, so we're just trying to keep it center of the alley. Oh, excuse me, guys. This was a par three, so it was a par three. That probably took us eight there, so now we're trying to get up and down for for a par. Be better for a birdie, but the day hasn't really been like that. Not a bad chip, guys. We didn't make it on the green, but. We are very close on the fringe, so we're going to settle for that. Let's see what we can do for the putt. No, cl <coughs> excuse me. no clouds whatsoever today. Still beautiful, though. Very gorgeous day, <laughs> gorgeous day to play golf. We're going to card the bogue. All right, guys. So, so far, our best has been bogeys. So we're just trying to have fun, stay loose, keep it straight. Eighth hole, 400. Opened up the body, opened up the face. So we're going to be to the left somewhere under the trees. At least we'll have shade. And uh, I saw where the ball landed because I saw where the bird scattered from. So I found the ball easily. Um, we have an opening, guys. So I'm going to take the five. And we're going to try to punch it 
right. Actually, not dead center because I felt I didn't feel like I was going to have that shot dead center. So I'm just trying to pull it a little right and get it on the fairway. So just lining it up, stay loose. And then we were able to do it. And now that I'm watching the shot, I, I feel like I should have tried to go through that big gap. But that's golf. So we put some mustard on it. And it went across the fairway next to this tree. So now what we need to do is punch it right through that giant hole we see right there. That's the... It's like they put those trees there on purpose, right? Right for us. They knew where, we're li where the lie was going to be and where we needed to go. And we do it. So, kind of get ourselves in trouble, but we get ourselves out. So now we got our par shot. Let's see if we can get up and down. Kind of crooked, and the camera was being a little funny. I think the um, lie was on a somewhat hill. Lining it up. Looking at those birds. Not bad, we get it up. Um, I don't believe we got on the green, but it was very close. We're gonna settle for this. All right, guys, so we got a bogey, bogey putt, about 10, 11 feet. Let's see how close we can get it. Good line, just not enough speed, but we're gonna take that. All right, guys, we're going to card the bogue. All right, guys, last hole, par four. We got 340 yards, so we're just going to keep it straight. It's a slight dog leg left. You see that pin needle looking tree. There's a, a one identical to it being covered just to the left. So we're going to keep it right in the middle to the left of that pin tree straight ahead. And we do it. Best drive of the round, and it's our last one, of course. My buddy saying you're all right. I was more than all right on that drive. And I think I was riding off the high from that drive, guys. Um, didn't get my second shot. Didn't even pull the camera out. And, of course, it was a good one. Just missed the green on the fringe. So we do have a birdie look. But, you know, my underspin hasn't been there. So let's see if we can just flop one, flop one really really slow or see if we can get underspin on it and it lands before the pin you know three feet but no spin whatsoever so it's on the diamond lane there it goes so now we have a farther putt we need to quickly forget about that chip and let's try to end our round on a good note There's a driving range behind us. And good line, just not enough speed. So let's just put it away and take what we can. And that's what happens, guys. Don't take your time. Pay the price. So there's a the scorecard, guys. 17 over. You know, we want to quickly forget about the round, obviously, but... Also, we don't want to forget to remember the things we did, we don't want to do here. So, we we'll want to quickly forget the round, but um, remember the things we don't want to repeat. Half full, half empty, I guess. So, not going to complain, guys. We still had fun. Don't forget, we've been playing for a year. Personally, I broke my leg three months ago. So, we're not going to complain. All right, guys. That's going to do it for today. I'll see you guys on the next round. Take care.